You are watching Junk Wax Genius, the channel on YouTube where we open old baseball cards because we like baseball cards, not because we're trying to make money off the endeavor. This is 1988 Fleer and 1993 Fleer. We'll take a couple different looks at, at the cards here. 88 still comes with a sticker. By 92, Fleer had stopped needing to include stickers as part of their, their premium. So we'll do Fleer 93 Series 1. We'll do 88 Fleer, though, to get started. I, I really did like this design when it came out. Hard to find, so even, you know, just in the, uh, what do they call it, that scarcity mentality, when you when something's hard to find, it seems that much more um, valuable to you. Well, that was me, friends, and 88 score, or 88 Fleer. There's Floyd Humans, Mark Gubalakaza, Fleer rookie prospects. There's Greg Tabor and Greg Myers, Edwin Correa, David Cohn, like that, Greg Minton, Kent Tekulvi, pointing to his glove. Uh, when we, this is sad. So can we get a look at that? This is pack fresh. Pack fresh does not mean mint condition. Something happened um, on the way to the packaging line to this nice card with masters of the double play. Ryan Sandberg and Ozzie Smith, just horrible. And uh, what can you do? Fresh out of the pack. But pack fresh does not always mean mint condition. Same with Jose Akendo. The uh, edge of this card here just chewed up. Gnarly. Awful. Sorry, Jose, but your double flap helmet looks cool. There's Guy Hoffman, Dwayne Ward, Jerry Gleaton, and his mustache. There's Ozzy Smith. Much better card for Ozzy there. Much better. Joe Sambito and Pasquale Perez. Well, we got the Ozzy Smith. All right. There's our 88 Fleer. Let's do the 93 Fleer. I don't know. I think two might be $2. I can assure you I did not pay $2 for a pack of 1993 Fleer. Let's see what we get. It's in this tamper-proof plastic kind of wrap that is still doing its job 30 years later. All right, cool cards. We've got this metallic silver border around the edge, nice gloss to the cards. And we have Jose Lean. Is he really game, is he... Is he in a defensive position there? Do you really have best mobility when you're squatting that far? Infielders weigh in. There's Eric Hillman, Bob Scanlon. Got a couple of these, a little flip. There's Tony Phillips. Nice action shot there for Tony. Rick Aguilera and his sweet beard. Very nice. Brady Anderson. Felix Jose. Ruben Amaro Jr. Dave Mead, Jimmy Key, Edgar Martinez, Alan Mills, Jose Melendez, Eddie Taubensey, and Steve Foster. We'll take a look. We'll, we'll take a look at Steve Foster. The well, there's the back of Steve Foster, but I meant this back of Steve Foster. You get uh, the usual Fleer kind of uh, things divided up into. Segments for their stats, a little bio information, nice action photo, the name. It's a big part of the graphic there. Take a look at Eddie Taubensee there side to side. So you can see even when the name is long, like Taubensee, you get the, the stats, a little bio. Not bad cards. I mean, I, I dig the metallic silver. I like the gloss. Big difference in improvement between the 93 Fleer and just five years earlier what we got from 88 Fleer. You are watching Junk Wax Genius, the channel on YouTube where we uh, open cards, we get what we get, and we don't get upset. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, and we'll see you tomorrow on Junk Wax Genius.